This week we take a closer look at the Hope Center for Kids and its life-changing impact in our community. Including a young father named Jimmy. Jimmy Ventry is working long, hard hours, and he's grateful. For a few years of my life, I was doing other things like gang, gang banging, and I found myself getting on the right track, and I'm trying to stand on it as, as, as much as possible through the, through the graces of God. It wasn't that Ventry didn't have some strong, positive influence in his life. As a youngster, I went to an organization called Good News Bears Serving Jesus. Later, as a teenager, Ventry also became involved at the Hope Center. He's pictured here with Pastor Ed King. Jimmy had a lot to process. His father was murdered when Jimmy was 10. His brother was killed by Omaha police in 2007 when he violently broke into several homes. Change it around and try to use it as more of posit positive way, you know. Um, do it, do opposite of what I, I was doing before and it's actually working through the graces of God, I, I gotta say that. And with him, things have changed and became a lot easier for me than they would have been if I decided to do what Jimmy wanted to do. Now what Jimmy wants to do is reach other young people with a message of hope and you go hi me be there for his four young children. You know, I'm just learning to do things the right way. My kids are looking at me as a better person and you know, my family, they they're they're changing, you know, at first grandma didn't want me over there. Next thing you know, I got a key to the house, you know, so it's like, you know, you can, you can, I can see the change and people can see it and it's, it's good. A change that would also make the late Pastor Ty Schenzel, founder of the Hope Center, proud. He was like a father figure to me actually, so I was, I'm grateful for the time that I got to spend in his life, him and his wife's lives, and it was, uh, it was awesome and very beneficial to me, I must say. Uh, Jimmy told me that Pastor Ty was in touch with him even on a regular basis, mm -hmm. even after he aged out of the Hope Center. Nice to see him being a role model for his own four children as well. Yeah, when you keep in mind that he, his father was murdered when mm -hmm. he was 10, it's just so important to, to be there for his kids. And Jimmy wants to give hope to other young people, too, by sharing what God has done in his life.